Hello everybody, my name is Ryan Walner. Today we're going to be talking about snapshots and what kind of snapshots are offered from Portworks. So, when you have a volume on a set of nodes, right, let's just draw a few nodes here. Right, your application's running. Uh, say this application is MySQL and it's accessing a volume uh, which is provisioned from a Portworks cluster here. Now, what does that mean in terms of how you can back up or snapshot a volume? So the first one we want to talk about is local snapshots, which means you can take a copy of this volume and it will keep a copy of that point in time local to the Portworx cluster. Uh, the other option you have is a cloud snapshot, which you can have something like S3 and you can take a snapshot of that volume and put it in S3 for kind of a cold backup. Right. Uh, and this is kind of the way in which you can offload your snapshots and capacity to a cold storage and you can restore from a cloud snapshot. Uh, the other option here you have is group snapshots. So if you were running say a Cassandra cluster and each one of these had its own volume you want to take a consistent snapshot of all three if you have a three node Cassandra cluster. So you could take a snapshot of this and store it locally or in the cloud again. And then optionally we have application snapshots uh, which allow you to set a uh, pre and post rule uh, for your snapshot. And what this actually means is that you will uh, define say something that freezes the data and then uh, thaws the data uh, before and after the snapshot. So your pre would take place first and then two we take a snapshot and then third we go back and thaw the data. And this allows you to kind of specify what type of freeze and thaw commands are run specific to an application Right, so something like MySQL and Cassandra have different ways of doing this. Uh, so you can uh, do an application kind of centric type of snapshot. We also use snapshots to move your data across clusters when they're uh, geographically dispersed. So if you want to know how that works, take a look at the PXDR video as it'll talk about two different clusters and how data and applications are moved between them. It's similar to the case of taking a snapshot and moving it to another cluster. Uh, either Portworx runs as a single cluster, so your data is all available, or it can be put in Dominic storage and restored to the new uh, cluster as well. So again, these are snapshots and types of snapshots available within Portworx. Thanks for watching. Until next time.